Now, this one result about the volumes of balls and spheres in higher dimensions leads to so many interesting, beautiful, and surprising facts, especially when we start thinking about probability. Let's look at the simplest possible case where I take a ball in n-dimensional space and I put a uniform density on it. Now I start choosing points at random using that uniform probability density. What happens? Well, some surprising things happen. Here's the first. Most of the points lie very close to the sphere at the boundary, to that boundary shell. That means if I take a very thin uh, neighborhood of that boundary shell and look at the probability mass of it with a uniform density. That's it. Most of the mass lies concentrated to that boundary. So if I pick a point at random in an n-dimensional ball, uh, guess what? It's probably going to be near the boundary. But that's not all. Most of the points also lie near the equator. Take the, the, the big equator around the middle of the ball and look at a small neighborhood of that, and that is where most of the probability density lies. So if you pick a point in the ball, not only does it lie on the boundary, but it lies um, very close to the equator. But since the ball is symmetric, this is true for any equator. Pick your favorite equator, and this holds. How can that be, you say? Well, it is, and it is because of the math, and that's not all, because most pairs of points have nearly the same distance between them. You pick any two points in the ball, and I can tell you with high probability what the distance between them is going to be, and it'll be pretty close. This does not happen in 2D. It does not happen in 3D. It doesn't happen in 37 but it does happen in very high dimensions. Now, these facts are not obvious, but they do follow from the volume computations that we have done. And you now know enough to be able to not only prove these with sufficient work, but to be able to explore and figure out new facts about higher dimensional geometry, about probability in high dimensions. This is absolutely fundamental to the way that high dimensional data works, why it's so interesting and complicated to do high dimensional data analysis.